The Saints Row reboot was a game that killed a 30-year-old company and it just did not make money. They were really expecting it to do fantastic and for people that were nostalgic for this franchise to show up in droves and it just didn't happen. But now in a hilarious turn of events, not even a year and a half after launch, it is already going free. I have a few different things that I want to show off, but before we get into the topic, if you enjoy the content I create, check out the links in the description, follow me on social media, and consider supporting through Patreon or via YouTube memberships. Now, I have had to talk a lot about this game on the channel because I was very disappointed that this was the direction they went in, having these hipster, cringeworthy characters become criminals because they wanted to pay off student debt like there are a million different stories they could have gone with that would have made people happy and we've even heard rumors from insiders saying that this was not what the game was supposed to originally be they wanted to bring back some of the original saints they really wanted to try to fill that gap of time where people were waiting for gta 6 to come out because saints row has always been known as gta's little bro and i I would have loved for a new fantastic Saints Row experience to come out all those years ago in order to fill the gap, uh, you know, while we were waiting for GTA 6 to come out. But instead, they decided to take this franchise in a new modern direction, which of course did not work. It was absolutely panned. People hated it. People clearly did not purchase it, judging by the fact that they had to shut down a 30-year-old company after this massive failure. But now we're finding out that this game is going free. So, of course, on the Epic Game Store, they are constantly putting games up for free, trying to get people to their... Uh, to their service, uh, hoping that people are going to go and download the Epic Games Launcher and actually use the Epic Games Store in order to buy their titles instead of, you know, going to something like Steam, which is their competition. Epic has had a pretty good tactic when it's come to offering people games for free, but this game is quite a bit different simply because this game came out only one year and three months ago. Typically, when they are putting games up for free on the epic game store it is because it's been out for two years three years maybe they just finally ported it to pc and they've decided that they're going to put it up for free for a limited amount of time because it's not like these games are permanently free you have to download them within a certain amount of time like the saints row reboot when i'm recording and putting up this video at midnight it is no longer going to be free um but i did a little bit of digging because there is this comprehensive list of all of the games that they have put up for free in the past and the dates which they went up for free and of course it's got the little metacritic pc score next to it so hilariously enough um you know they have definitely uh put up a comprehensive list game rant has but when you start really looking at these games, and when you start looking at the dates in which they released versus when they've gone up on the Epic Games Store for free, the Saints Row reboot definitely is a lot different. And of course, there's tons of games that Epic gets, you know, deals to offer for free for a couple of days. But it doesn't happen very often when a game is this new. So just going through some of the list, because obviously I cannot go through every single game they have released but I was able to pick out a few especially out of the the list of games that they released in 2023 and again I couldn't look at every instance but the newest ones I can find are things like Ghostwire Tokyo that was just offered on December 24th to 25th and that came out in March 2022 meaning it's one year and nine months old DNF Duel is on this list which had been out for one year and eight months the Outer World Spacers Edition did only come out nine months ago, but 
the base game came out back in 2019, and from what I can see after scrolling these lists and trying to look into them a bit, this, with the Saints Row reboot being less than a year and a half old, it seems like this one was definitely rushed out for free. I could not find a game that had been, uh, you know, that close to release that went up for free. Again, they they typically put up games that are two, three, four years old. I mean, look at this. They, back in October, offered The Evil Within and The Evil Within 2, and those games are years and years and years old. Things like Cave Story, years old. Elder Scrolls Online. Uh, so... Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think that this is definitely very interesting, but in my opinion, very hilarious because we had said even when they announced and released the teasers and trailers for this game years ago that it was going to be a di disaster, it was probably going to be a financial disaster. I don't think anybody expected it to do this poorly, though, to the point where the developer volition had been shut down in August only a year after its release. And nobody expected these scores. I mean, a 61 critic and a 3.1 user. You would think that, yeah, this, this game would not do so good, but there was no way they could have fallen that far from where they once were. I mean, again, Saints Row, massively popular franchise that they just completely and utterly shattered in the hearts of gamers. And I did put up a tweet on this saying the game that killed a 30-year-old company is free at not even a year and a half after launch it's got 1.6k likes and people in the comment section are roasting volition and epic and just anyone that was affiliated with this you couldn't pay me to torrent that shit i ain't even playing it if it's free not even free if the game not even for free is this game worth it i personally did decide to download it i have criticized this game so many times on the channel so i I'm gonna give it a go. Even if I might lose some of my sanity, even if I might hate myself by the end of it, I've talked about it a lot, I'm at least going to play it now that it's free, um, because they're not getting anything out of it. Yes, it does show that their download numbers have gone up, but Volition's already dead. It's not like they're going to magically announce, you know what, we're gonna be coming back for Saints Row Reboot too. Like, that's just not going to happen at this point. It was such an easy win to make another raunchy, silly game. Nope, we have to remake everything for the current year. Yes, it was a very easy formula. Uh, they just had to make something that was raunchy, that was silly, that had these fan favorite saints, but instead they did everything different because, of course, they were worried about the modern audience and making things, you know, updated and fresh and a new take on this franchise that absolutely nobody asked for and clearly that audience that they wanted to target, aka sensitive snowflakes who don't buy anything online, uh, clearly those people did not show up to purchase this either, so no matter what way you slice the cake, they lost their audience, they lost nostalgic older fans, they lost this newer group of people, companies are constantly trying to make products for it. It's just sad to see uh, the Saints Row name be so tarnished at this point, but this game was a nightmare, it was a disaster, but if you want to give one of the worst games to release in recent memory a chance, it is currently free on the Epic Game Store, and it is a hilarious, hilarious thing to see. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this, make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.